Hello everyone and welcome to Quick Digital Tips by FireUsMarketing.com. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer a domain from one provider to another. Sometimes this happens when you're out there searching for a specific domain and you find a deal on one provider versus another. And so you end up having one on GoDaddy, one on HostGator, one on a different platform, depending on who has the sale. Move them all to one provider, this is how you do it. I do wanna add the caveat that the only time this should happen is if you have an unused domain transferring to another registrar. If you have a domain that's being used, there's another process that we can talk about later where you pick up the whole database and bring it with you. But only take the steps I'm gonna tell you about in this video if the domain is parked and doesn't have a website built on it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to the domain registrar where you want it transferred to. So in this case, we're at GoDaddy. You go to all of your products and then go to domains, manage all domains. And then over here on the left, you see transfers. Click on transfer transfer to GoDaddy, then you'll wanna add the domain that you wanna move into GoDaddy's account. So in this case, we're gonna take just in case prep, copy that, paste it here, continue. Now, when you go from a GoDaddy account to a GoDaddy account, it doesn't cost any money, but if you go from a different provider to GoDaddy, then there is a transfer fee associated to it. Okay, so you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the right amount of years that you want the domain renewed to, and then pay for it. So in order to finalize the transfer, we need to go and unlock it from the other registrar and bring over the authorization code to finalize it on this side. So again, we're going to go back to domains price right, go to the domain portfolio. We see just in case prep right here. We're going to click on the lock section and it's going to verify that we do want to unlock. So we're going to click continue. Okay, so now the domain is unlocked. Okay, so then after that, we're going to click on just in case prep.com. We're going to scroll down here at the bottom where it says transfers and click on transfer to another registrar. Then we're going to click on continue with transfer. Now we see our domain is unlocked. Click here to see authorization code. Copy, come back over here, enter the code. Hit submit. Okay, now that I entered that authorization code and hit submit, it's showing me that the Status is in progress. It can take up to five to seven days in my experience. It usually happens within 24 hours. But at some point, this will leave my old registrar over here and come to my new one in GoDaddy so that I only have one account with all of my domains. The basic idea should work across any registrar, no matter which one you're coming from. It may look a little bit different than what I'm showing you here, but the concept is the exact same where you go to the transfer, you have to unlock, you have to get the code, and then you have to pay the fee. Remember, you don't have to pay the fee if you're moving from one GoDaddy account to another, and that's usually the same in other registrars as well. If this was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments.